Hey guys, it's Quinn, and happy 4th of July. In episode 28 of the fundraising series, we'll be taking a look at a film about a character which pretty much sums up George Clooney's persona in a nutshell, 2009's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox is an animated Wes Anderson film starring George Clooney as Mr. Fox, an overzealous macho fox who gets his entire community into trouble after stealing from local farmers. As a Roll Doll adaptation, what the storyline should aspire to is to be compelling and adventurous while also being somewhat digestible for a younger audience. In terms of a storyline, I do think this film is lacking, even if it does have a lot of great bells and whistles. And we're going to break both those things down right now. In terms of the storyline, it is pretty straightforward. If you really boil it down to it, it's a redemption story. In terms of themes about family and relationships and all that, frankly though, it really isn't that exciting in this film. This is not to say that the film's done poorly, you know, indeed quite the opposite, and we'll get to that in a second, but the only parts that I really found genuinely exciting were the heist and the banter. The actual subtext, the meat to the film, which is this redemption story, it's a really basic and common one, so it has to be done well, and I think that compared to in many other films where they tackle this sort of plot, I found Fantastic Mr. Fox to be quite milk toast. And going into the bells and whistles, which are mainly just the humor and the action in this film, I think this film's a lot more successful. The humor and action are done in such a way that every joke or moment by a character is contextualized. Nothing really is one-off. In that way, when you watch the film, you feel kind of like you're part of like an inside joke. It's a cool feeling to experience in this film. And all the credit in the world must be given to Wes Anderson for his directing in this film. I personally love Wes Anderson. I think that Grand Budapest Hotel is maybe the most underrated movie I've ever seen. And in terms of everything that people praise him for, myself included, it's all on display here. So overall then, you know, it, it, this film is kind of a letdown. It has all the makings of a great movie, you know, the humor, the action, the charisma of each individual character, but in combining it together, it just didn't work. I found that this film really, really wasn't that interesting. And that's not to slam Roald Dahl. I read his books all the time growing up, but the storyline just didn't translate too well here. This film is enjoyable for all age groups. It's stylish but frankly it's not that compelling, which is why I would give it a rating of watch it if it's on TV. One last thing, Mr. Fox throughout the film would do this clicking noise, you know, with his, with his mouth. As someone who does that noise all the time, I never realized quite how obnoxious it was until now, so I think I owe everyone an apology for that. <laughs> Anyways, this video was sponsored by a resident of Northern California. This channel is committed to giving every American an equal opportunity in this country, which is why all proceeds will be donated to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Thank you for watching, and remember, black, white, left, or right, we're all in this together. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.